The main thing we can add to this program is going to be a counter. Let's count how many times they actually take to guess. So we're going to go back into our scene setup and we're going to need to add some text for the counter. We did this, hopefully you did this in your Pixie program, and we've done it in our Colorful Cows program. So I'm here to my setting up the scene. I'm going to use a text. I'm going to drag it up here and I'm going to call and let's call this count display. I want to make sure that it's different from my variable. Call it count display. It is a text and I want it to display um, count with the space. And I can pick a color. I can keep it green. I maybe can make it blue like the coyote, red to stand out, you know, whatever you want to do. And then I want to center it somewhere neatly on the screen. So go ahead and take some time to do that. Okay, I added my count text right there. I've kind of got it looking pretty good. Now we need to add a variable that's going to go along with this count. So I'm going to come down here to my variable. I'm going to drag it up here. Remember, we always count with whole numbers. I'm going to call this count. And I'm going to always start it at zero. Now, anytime that they don't guess it, I want to increment my count. So I'm going to come in here. While it's not the guess, I'm going to increment. So I'm going to um, do my assign. I'm going to come up in here. I'm going to assign count to count. And then I'm going to do my math and add plus one. So I'm going to increment my count. Then I want to also display the count in my text. I'm going to click on my text and I want to to go to its procedures where it says set value. I'm going to do this right below the counter. And I can do a custom text string where it's going to say um, guesses, maybe. Let's have it say guesses. And then don't forget a space. And then I'm going to add the value of count to it. So I have guesses plus my whole number, which is count. So this should display all of my guesses. Let's give it a try. So let's guess 10, and there's one guess. Higher, let's guess 15, and we see two guesses. Let's guess 17, and we guess the number, and it took us two guesses. You could say, well, it really took us three guesses. So we can make a quick change to our code if we want to add in one more guess and print and show it at the end. So I'm going to take this code right here where I am displaying my count and I'm going to copy it down here by the yes. So with this one's outside the loop. We have one inside the loop that's going to count all of our wrong guesses. And I have one here just outside the loop and where I have count I can just do a little math right in here. I'm going to come here to math and I can do count plus one. And that will count the last guess that is correct. Let's give this a try with that little modification. So let's start with 10, one guess. And let's go to 5, one guess. 8, another. 9, 12, 15, okay. And then it got all the guesses. So if we like that, we've added in the counter and we've displayed the counter. So that's a nice modification to your program. Now there's one more thing you can do, and that's change the condition so that you only give them a limited number of guesses. This is really how the game is normally played. So you can't just go forever. This way you will always win. So you can change the game up so you can win or lose. It's just a little bit more complicated. We're going to have to change the condition and take out a little bit of things. So not only do we want to keep going while they haven't guessed it, but we also want to give them another condition where the count is less than four. Because I think four guesses should be enough. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to keep this condition, but I'm going to add another one. So it's while not the number, and I want both of them, they have to either, if the guess isn't and the count isn't. So I'm going to have both. I'm going to get another true. 
So I have this condition, and the other condition is the count is less than 4. So that we are going to be comparing count. It's a whole number. And I'm going to use less than. So count is less than. So I need to pick my count and have it less than 4. So I've got two conditions to, for this loop that I haven't guessed the number and the count is less than 4. When one of them is false, so either I guess the number or count is 4, I'm going to stop the loop. So I need everything inside the loop. That's meaning guessing, asking the user. So I'm going to bring this on in. I'm going to ask the user inside the loop and increment. And then I'm going to find out if it's right or wrong. So I'm going to take, I can take this one off. I only need to ask once now it's inside the loop. And I'm going to be displaying a little bit different, so I'm going to take this out. Now inside the loop, I need to know not only is it higher or lower, but if they have guessed it, because I'm including everything inside here now. So I'm going to put in another if, true, and this is going to be if they have indeed guessed the number. So those are whole numbers, and I'm going to use equals equals if the guess equals the random number. So if they did guess it, then I want to call yes. So I'm going to drag that from the bottom right up into here. If they didn't guess the number, then I want to take all the stuff that's here that was in the while loop. I'm going to put it in my else part. So else, I'm going to figure out if it's higher or lower and call no. So I just had to do a little bit of rearranging here. So I'm going to ask the user inside the loop. I'm going to do all my displaying. If it is the random number, I'm going to say call yes. And if it's not, I'm going to find higher or lower and call no. I've got everything inside the loop. So the last thing to figure out is what happens when I exit the loop. Well, if they did guess the number, I'm done. But if their count went over, I might want to tell them what the number actually was and that they took too many turns. So I'm going to have like an ending. And I'm going to have the coyote say a couple of things. So first he's going to say, uh, you ran out of turns. Let's put that in there. The number was, and leave a little space, and then we want to actually put the random number. But we can do that just like how we kind of added in the count here when we we're setting the value. I can come here and I can add to it the random number plus, and I want to do a whole number, the random number. So it's going to display what the number actually was. Now I don't want this to do all the time, only if count is more than 4 or equal to 4. So I'm going to put in an if and I'm going to drag that line of code inside my if. So if they run out of guesses, that means count, so I've got a whole number, is greater than or equal to, so I've got count, is greater than or equal to 4. That should about do it. So we had to make a few modifications here that got a little bit more complicated. Let's give it a try. And let's just get it wrong on purpose to see what happens. So let's start with 5. Let's set higher. Let's just go to 8. Let's set higher. Let's go to 10. You can see we're on our third guess. This is going to be our fourth guess. Higher. And then it said I ran out of turns. The number was 14. It worked really good. Let's run it again. And this time let's see if we can get it. So I'm going to guess 10. Let's go to 15. Let's go to 18. And 19. I guess the number. Okay, so even though I got to 4, it's not going to go there. We did really good. So you can check over your code. Make sure everything's working correctly. So you're going to need to run it several times. Make sure you're always getting the right results. And you've done an excellent job on your guess the number game.